Hey everybody, welcome. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. And I think I'm trying to make a good adjustment right here with my mic. It's great to have you. We are kicking into March and we're getting things are rolling. Hi, Benny. Hi there. All right. March is the month of March metaphysical madness. That is what it is. Correct. It is. And why do we say that? Well, it's a play on the the uh, basketball month, of course, you know, for those of you that watch the like the basketball uh, March Madness. But yes. why would they come up with March Madness? What do you think happened to them? Do you think it's really like a uh, subliminal or Freudian to really look at March ruled by Mars, the God of War, March Man? I mean, they could have called it anything else, right? I mean, it's possible. Yes. But it kind of has a nice ring to it. You know, it, it kind of helps you think about it. But March metaphysical madness is about, are you tired of jumping through hoops, folks? You know, what is it about stepping into spring? March represents that for us. Stepping into spring that allows us to do everything that we talked about in previous show about March. March is about action. It's about movement. It's about forward movement. Um, it is about doing things that really pull you from where you are to where you want to go. But what if you could get some angel help with this? The angel lady Sue Storm is joining us here today. The angels of joy and expansion love the March. A much, ma March. Benny, we've been talking about that, like, right? So spring is in the air. And what do they want to do? Do you think that today, when you call into the show and you talk to Sue, you think you'd be able to get a message from the angels, which are going to guide you into this abundance and prosperity we've been talking about? March, who knew it? Abundance and prosperity in March. Sue Storm, the angel lady, is joining us today, and she is going to kick us off by giving us some of the energy of March and the angels. It's great to have you here, Sue. Yay, thanks. March is an exciting month. You know why? Because spring is coming. I'm so tired of looking at snow. <laughs> it's, uh, in the Chicagoland area, we had record snow this year. So here's the thing. Tell me about the energy of spring and March and angels. What have you seen the angels be able to help people with during this time? Okay, so we put, a spring can put a spring in your step. You know, you can just feel better, feel lighter, feel clearer. And that's what the angels can help you do, help you make decisions, help you figure out what you're going to do with the summer and, and, and your what life's purpose. But mostly it's just a time to look into moving forward. The trees are budding and things are starting to, um, I, I don't know, I just have an uplifting feeling in spring. What about you, Dr. Pat? Do you uh, do the same thing? Uh, I have a different feeling in spring and I think we've been talking about it and I'll tell you what it is. It's really, you know, looking at the metaphysical, no, it's not a different feeling. It's the same feeling in a different way. It's this notion that, here we are, and we maybe have been working hard. We have been juggling things. And so this March, this March, symbolic for spring, right? This March is different. And why it's different has been a mystery for people. But it is the notion of being able to look at anything in this month in this month as forward movement forward movement and can't you feel that energy sue you know can you feel like this month spring has a different energy it certainly has a different energy than last march right absolutely but it also is a different year we're in a new dimension we're in a new um i don't know time frame it's it just feels like last year was, was last year, and this year is just blooming, blossoming, expanding. 
think that's what this year is all about. Angels do too. They're uh, nodding their heads. They're agreeing. So when we think about this and you think about like talking about spring and abundance and prosperity, you know, what are some of the ways in that you've worked with people to literally demonstrate that being able to communicate with angels, knowing who your angels are, calling on your angels to help, regardless of what's going on, can move people forward, even when it doesn't look like you're going to move forward, so to speak. Uh, absolutely. So the difference is knowing that you're never alone and there's always hope. That's the message of the angel. And so if you have your angels with you, if you know who they are, if you know what your life's purpose is, if you know what your goals are, some people just don't know. You know, they, they some people have visions for what they want and they haven't accomplished that yet. But others just are kind of confused. What am I here for? So this is a really good time to find out. And if you have blocks to prosperity, let the angels help you lift those blocks. And if you're, um, mostly it's about getting where you want to be. Like I ask people yeah. when we do private consultations, where are you now and where do you want to be? And then I figure out the direct path. And the angels help me and we get you going and get that energy back and get your motivation. Lately, Dr. Pat, I've been hearing people um, telling me that they're not motivated to organize their house. They're not motivated to do this or that. But I think March is the month of, oh, listen to this, March is the month of motivation. There we go. Yes, angel it is. came up with that one. I think that's an angel came up with that one. Just they saying. Did, they did. Yeah, that's what I think. And the way we're going to kick it off here is, as always, if you don't know who your angels are, if this is the first time you're tuning into the show with Sue Storm, the angel lady, the first thing we like to do is give you your personal angels. Uh, our toll-free number is still the same, 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819. If you want to go ahead and give us a call, say hi to Benny. He will put you in the queue. Uh, and we will get you on here as quickly as we can. Um, the other thing we're doing here uh, today also is um, we're, we're attempting to really weave and build the bridge, right, between what we intend or want and what the action might be that you are either struggling to take or want to take and don't know how. Because a lot of times when we don't know how, it's like, knock, knock, Angel, are you there? <laughs> so, Sue. I agree. So, tell us about how the angels or how, how you have been working with angels for various people to bring things from motivation to manifestation. Because that's the way I think Ooh, about it. Oh, there's March. another one, Dr. Pat. Motivation to manifestation. I put that on my website I'm kidding. yeah but anyway <laughs> that was good you uh, heard it here <laughs> yeah really okay so it it depends on where your blocks are it depends on where your pro, um original programming uh, uh family programming is and and what's stopping you what's blocking you we talk about the judge what what voice is judging you what what is keeping you um, it, it kind of at a plateau in your life where you just can't get forward. Or if you have a really big proposition and you're looking for some or a, a vision and you're looking for someone to really give you the tiny little details, okay, do this, do that, this is your next step. A lady I talked to this morning said, what's my next step? Well, great. Ask your angels. They know what your next step yeah. is. And that yeah. helps you get forward. Yeah. I want to talk about this a minute. Um, you mentioned this year. And I want to talk about the spiritual aspect of March. But also, it is, as I talked about in the last show, it's ruled by Mars, the war of uh, the god of war. Now, during the break, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go over and get my little Mars. Uh, where is that? Oh, wait, it's not. I don't have to go far. It's right here. Um, this symbol here, and I'm going to sh sh see if I can hold it up. See this? This is a beautiful piece of glass art 
I don't know if everybody can see it there. Get my head out of the way. And that was given to me. And I, I never forgot why it was given to me. It's actually one of the most beautiful glass pieces I've ever seen, right? But here's the deal. I didn't understand why somebody was giving me that. And they said, what do you know about Mars? And I said, I don't know, like, <laughs> what do I know about Mars? It's a red planet. And this was back to back in the day when you and I were first starting to do this, right? Yeah. And, and then I discovered more about Mars and I discovered more about the meaning of March and Mars. And one of the things you said, and this is why we have opened up the phone lines today for everybody, 1-800-930-2819. And over on Facebook, Facebook Transformation Talk Radio, you're, I think we are live streaming now. I don't think we were before, but I think we are now. And if you go over there, you're going to be able to like say, yeah, pick a card for me, do something for me, help me with something. Um, if you go over there and do that. And, you know, one of the things you'll see uh, is that we are here to help. So type in your question. So here's the deal. Mars, March, whatever you want to call it, this is about action. Now, spring, what happens in spring, Sue? You expand, move forward, uh, increase your energy. Things... I, I want to tell you, Mars is my ruling planet, too, because I'm an Aries. So. See, I Mars. knew it. I kn <laughs> <laughs> my yeah. mom, my mom was an Aries. Mama Doris was an Aries. Yeah. Um, but to hear, let's talk about s where we can get some angel help. And again, the phone lines are open. 1-800-930-2819. Um, Here's what I want to ask. What happens, Sue, when we think, don't answer this until we come back. What happens if we're thinking, well, wait a minute, I don't know. I don't really have much to move action on. I don't think I'm worth calling into the show. I don't, that is not it. See, Mars does not judge Mars does not judge whether your action is big enough, too big, too small, zero, doesn't judge, and neither do angels. When we come back, we're going to talk about what are the things that are on your radar to move ahead, move forward with. I don't think we need to do any dating angels today for us. But when we come back, we're going to be talking about what does it mean to be in the realm of the month of March, which just screams prosperity and abundance. And Sue Song is going to take us through who the angels are. They're going to pop us over there and what we can do. Let's take a short break. Benny, Jacob, we'll be right back. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Sue Storm, the angel lady is in the house. And by the way, we are doing angel readings, 1-800-930-2819. We're taking your calls. Before we go to the phones, one of the things I would love to do is, Sue, give us an update on what you're up to, how they can find out about you, how they can book time with you. Okay. So if you've been looking for an angel first aid book on Kindle Reader on Kindle, uh, it's your lucky day. You can go to Amazon.com and you can look up Angel First Aid RX for Miracles. Make sure you get second edition. And um, you can get it in paperback. And Dr. Pat and Benny are in that book. And you can um, also get it on Kindle. So I'm excited um, that uh, I have paperbacks, but I haven't had any Kindle. <laughs> so this is good. And you can look me up on theangellady.net that's my uh, website theangellady.net and my 800 number if you want to reach me direct for a consultation is 800-323-1790 that's 800-323-1790 and um, I have a Dr. Pat special so if you tell me you're calling from Dr. Pat um, or that's 
um, then you get, uh, you pay for one half hour and you get the second half hour at no charge. So we have a, a two for one. That's the Dr. Cat, Pat special. And uh, what am I leaving off, Dr. Pat? Anything I missed that you think I should talk about? No, I think you got it. You gave out that phone number, right? So I want to go right over, Benny, if we could. I know we've got a caller. I want to go right over to the caller and just get them really connected to Sue and the Angels, right? Let's do it. Sounds good. Kay from the L.A. area is joining us. Hi, Kay. Hi. I am. I'm going through some tough times today, so I thought I'd uh, give another call. Good. Okay? You want to know the names of your angels? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. So you have Caroline, Angel of Positive Thinking, and she'll help you. And Bettina, B-E-T-T-I-N-A who's the angel of creativity. And your archangel is Michael, guidance and protection. And we need to give you a money angel. Katrina is the angel of prosperity. So those are the angels that have been with you your whole life. They're there for your life's purpose. And um, um, <laughs> you may think you're having a, a, a difficult day, but they're kind of shaking you. Come on, let's go. So I'm sure that they led you to the radio show to call in. What, what, what can we help you with? Well, um, I, I am a, I'm going through a uh, life-changing uh, um, experience. Um, I recently separated from my spouse. And I'm holding my ground and not uh, calling to return. And um, I don't know if, uh, you know, he's going to repent and uh, decide to um, ask for forgiveness. Or I don't even know. I, I, I've let it go pretty much. I have let it go. I'm just... Let me, let me tell you, you are perfect for the Dr. Pat special. <laughs> so uh, uh, call um, the 800-323-1790 and uh, let's let the angels help you. They can give you ideas and uh, I could answer your questions, but you, you, have, you need direction. You need to really know what to do and we're here to do that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What is the price? I know it's a half hour free. Yes, yes, what's it's your, a, your it's, price? It, it's a hundred for the two, so it's a hundred. Okay. So what's what no. is the special though? That that's actually the special because normally oh. an hour is one eighty. Oh so, right. Oh good. Okay. Yeah. So you're getting for a hundred, you're getting the full hour. Perfect. And uh -huh. honestly, yeah, people will get some insight that we just don't like to to. Uh, we don't like to go too deep on the show because we respect everybody's personal business and who knows what the angels have to say. <laughs> Thank you for calling in. Thank you so much. Um, I want to talk about a couple of insights here. I keep talking and referencing the month of March. Um, and this really is this. This is a decisive month. Some people are writing and say the third month of the year is here to remind us not to fall asleep on our laurels. It's time to act accordingly, our true desires and, you know, our inspirations. Um, and, and yet sometimes, Sue, we get so afraid to do that, right? Yeah, and we don't think we deserve it. We think we've got to be busy doing, taking care of everybody else and not ourselves. That's the problem. Hmm. And this is the month for sincerity. It's the month for solid foundation building. Um, it's the month for realization of things, even though they may not manifest right away. Uh, but what are what did you say some of the abundance angels are? Sure. We have Tyler, who's the angel of abundance. And we have um, let's see, who else? Timothy, the angel of good fortune, who brings abundance with his good fortune, um, and Katrina, the angel of prosperity. So um, those, are, those are three wonderful angels for abundance. Um, 
one of the things I want to ask you all out there, if you want a message from the angels, please give us a call 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. Um, Sue, uh, tell us about some of the books that you've written, because a lot of times people want some insight and information, and, you know, you've laid it out in several of your books. Absolutely. So the um, book that I was talking about before that uh, Amazon just printed is um, Angel First Aid, Rx for Miracles, How to Make Miracles Happen in Your Life, How to how to bring things to yourself and how to manifest. And that's, um, but you have to look for second edition because I wrote it once before and then I've just, I've just fix, uh, fixed it up. So um, and it's a beautiful color, a cover with a, um, a hand painted angel on it. it, it it's really quite the experience. And that's also the one on Kindle um, through Amazon. Then um, I've written a book, Angel First Aid, Rx for success, how to find your life's purpose and be successful. And um, you can get that on my website, um, theangellady.net. Um, so that's another one. And that's about, um, it, the, it, Archangel Michael came to me and said, when people are following their life's purpose, things go easy. There aren't as many bumps in the road. There are, things are going along and, and you're in the flow. But when they're not on their life's purpose, then, then there's little glitches and, and, like I said, little speed bumps. And so you may need some tweaking. You may need to know what is it that's creating me to have to push through life instead of flow through life. And um, angels also say that life is easy. We just don't know how to live it. So that's another thing you can learn. But these books have little exercises, visualizations, the names of all the angels. Every book I've written has that glossary of angels, so you'll be able to um, access all the angels and know who they are. And um, I, I think affirmations, it's just a little handbook. Some people have more than one. They have one in their office, one at home. It's just a little handbook for how your angels can help you. Yeah, and I want to leave us with this as we go to break. One of the affirmations in the book is this, when we're talking about prosperity, it is I am enjoying true prosperity, I have ample funds available. I am enjoying true prosperity, I have ample funds available. Uh, we're going to take a short break. We are taking your calls. 1-800-930-2819. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Sue Storm, the angel lady is here. We're taking your calls, 1-800-930-2819. And we are talking a bit about March, and we're going to go to the phones in a minute. Um, I don't know if you know this, Sue, uh, but Mar March birthday flower is the daffodil. Oh. The daffodil. And it's bright and it's cheerful colors and, you know, it represents that happiness and that opening. I'm not sure if you're going to get the daffodils with all the snow you still have in Chicago, but that's it. Um, the other thing, I got a question from somebody asking me about these dates in March, and I'll say them again. March 6th, March 9th, March 12th, March 20th are the ones with the highest vibrational energy, which means they are the most powerful days. And I am giving you this uh, from the website, wemystic.com. They're one of the sites that talks about this. There was another one I mentioned earlier. Uh, these are the dates that are most likely to be synonymous with change and happy event. There will only be positive. So they, we're talking about positive. So you will not have to face obstacles. You'll be lucky when it comes to love and business. So write them down, Benny, 6, 9, 12, 20, 6, Saturday, 9, Tuesday. Everybody got it? And one other thing to just leave you with before we go with the phones, there's a crystal horoscope or crystal uh, aspect of March for 2021. Um, and then this is really the oracle of the guardian angels for March. So there's just a lot of March energy around that we've not talked about. We so focus on Mars, you know, the god of war. 
but we're talking about crystals and we're talking about how each of our signs may have a very special crystal for this month. Um, if you are Virgo, it's Labradorite. And if you are me, it's Fluorite. If you are a Capricorn, it's, it's something else. But today we are talking about the manifestation magic and motivation of March. Uh, Sue Storm, the angel lady, you can go to theangellady.net. And Benny, I think we should bring on our caller. Sure, Patrice from Seattle. Hi, Patrice. Hi, Patrice. Hi, thanks. Hi, thanks for taking my call. How are you? Um, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. You just said um, Capricorn is something else, and I my ears perked up because that's what I am. And what is the crystal for Capricorn? Carnelian. Carnelian. Uh, yeah, I I have four planets in Capricorn, so I have to pick a couple of these and my moon is in Capricorn. Um, and it talks about this active energy for people who hate boredom. Uh, and it's also good for the body and the mind to keep them active, right? You know, so that there's no stopping you cap, there's no stopping the Capricorn people. Oh, good. I even have one. Thank you so much for that. Sure. Uh, how can we help you? How can the angels help you rather? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, I know there's angels around me, guardian angels around me, because I can feel them. But I'd like to know a little bit more about them. Okay, well, I've, I've had it for a ahead. long time, but mm -hmm. let, let me give you the names of the angels that are around you. You have um, you. Bettina, B E T T I N A, the angel of creativity, and your archangel is Gabriel, messages and communication. But he also works with arts and invention. So uh, are you artistic at all? I'm really not <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay. No. Th then if you're not artistic, it, it might be creation. It might be invention, like your, your thought. You, are, are you a thinker? Do you, do you, are you constantly thinking about pulling in new ideas, that type of thing? Exactly. How to make things better, even around the house, little things, yes. Right, that, that's your creativity. Okay, it doesn't have to uh -huh. be artsy. But, um, uh -huh. And then your money angel is Timothy, the angel of good fortune. Okay, great. I'm going to read up on these so I know them better. I appreciate your help so much. So I want to ask you something because do you have a question? You don't have to share the question, but do you have a question that you're holding in your mind for yourself? I do. Would you like, Sue, to maybe see what angel comes in to help you? Oh, that would be wonderful. Can you give me a, an area of your life that you're... Yeah. Uh, you mean like... Um, like what a, What area of your life do you... Like job or romance. Yeah, job, romance. <laughs> Is that I'm it? say motherhood. 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 Got oh, it. Oh, sure. We got yeah. one. So Serena, S-E-R-E-N-A, is the angel of children, nurturing. And we even have a babysitter angel. We have Diane, who's the angel of child care. So we, we got that for motherhood. Do you have some other area? I'm not off the top of my head, but I'm definitely going to look into these. Okay. <laughs> well, check, check the website or check the books on Amazon because they have all the lists and, and all the information. Okay. Can you give the name of that again? Sure. Yes. For the book? Sure. The it's, website. Uh, um, well, the book is Angel First Aid, RX Prescription for Miracles. And then the second edition, if you're going to Amazon, you have to put that in. And then um, my website is theangellady.net. Hmm. Okay. And the first, uh, the first, the book was Angel what? I'm sorry. Something First RX. Aid. First aid, angel first aid. Uh huh. And then the RX right. prescription, RX yeah. for miracles. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I got it all down. Oh, got it all it down? Out. All right. Thank all right. you. Thanks, Patrice. Thanks for checking in. So, uh, so Sue, um, for people that are listening, they can really work with you and get really more in depth answers. You want to give them the way to do that? Sure. So 
So you can um, uh, go to eight. Call me if you want to do it that way. I, I'm giving you a different uh, different thing. My email is theangellady at comcast dot net. The angel lady at comcast dot net. If you want to reach me that way, or my eight hundred number is eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero and I'm the only one who answers that line so you can leave a message I will get back to you if I don't pick up and like if I'm on the radio <laughs> or yeah. something like that um, and um, this will change your life a consultation with the angels will you'll feel lighter I've talked to a couple of um, new people lately and uh, the, the first thing they say is I feel lighter I feel more peaceful I feel clearer um, and, and that happens in the first half hour. So it, it's just well worth it. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting because we're kind of moving into, uh, I know we're talking a little bit here about March, but we're also moving into Pisces season. And, you know, that is also an amazing time, right? And this year in particular, when people are looking at this, we can't forget you know, what we talked about earlier in the year. So we can't, we can't forget that we were talking about planets aligned, Jupiter, Saturn, but they're not the only planets and energy that are operating. And Pisces this year um, looks at uh, what we can do in the world to when we look inside of ourselves. So it's asking us to be silent. It's asking us to dream. It's an interesting energy this year. But given all of that, given the fact that there may be some gloom around this, it is really one of the best times we've had in a long time to dream something magical. There's magical energy now. And that is the energy that we can use to our favor. So it's not a mistake that we're talking about prosperity and abundance today. But what Pisces does is it allows us to bring in intuition and creativity. So now when you put the energy of Mars together, and then you put the energy of intuition and Pisces and creativity together, then what you need that you probably don't have is that angelic boost. Right, Sue? Yes, absolutely. And, and the angels are there to support everything we've talked about, crystals and um and the um, astrology, and they just blend in, fit in, and uh, support everything you've talked about, Dr. Pat. And for those of you out there, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, I think we'll have time for one more call if you want to call in. 1-800-930-2819. Before we go to break, would you remind everybody what it is the, um, the special offering is that you have? For, for folks? Absolutely. It's um, two half hours. So you pay for one half hour and the other one is at no charge. Two half hours um, for the $100. We were talking about that earlier. Um, and um, it's just a, a way to jumpstart your life. It's a um, wonderful avenue for March. We'll put it that way. It's how to get your uh, on the right path. Yeah, how to march straight ahead in March. Let's take a That's short it. break, everybody. We have time, I think, for one more caller. 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. Who's going to win the Grammys this year? Let's take a short break, everybody. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. We are taking on March. Uh, do I say March by storm? Yes, March by storm. Sue Storm, the angel lady, joining us here today. Hey, before we keep rolling and talking about March and Pisces and just all sorts of cool things, again, remind people how they find out about you, but also give them that number in case they want to take you up on that special. Okay. So it's theangellady.net is the website. And there is a place on the website that says, ask me, where you can um, ask me a question if you'd like. You can fill that in, little form. Um, and my 800 number is 
323-1790 if you want to um, set up a consultation. Um, you can also email theangellady at comcast.net if you'd like to set up a consultation. And it'll be well worth it. I, I, I'm telling you, there's probably nothing in the world that's as exciting as how much you can change in one angel session. So we're good. Yeah. Uh, and I want to just tap into this now. If uh, I'll make sure we don't have anybody calling in, if you do 1 800 930 2819. But don't forget, you can go over to Facebook.com Transformation Talk Radio. And what you are able to do is just ask us a question over there as well. And Jacob will make sure we get that on. Um, one of the things I find, Sue, is that when we are looking at prosperity and abundance, it has some interesting energies. And I know you've got Benny in the book and you've got me in some of the books, but there are things that we don't discuss about it. And it's something I started to talk about a lot. And that is this really street smart sense of it. So for example, we've talked about holding a set of intention that we so believe in, right? You know, we so believe in, and I remember being at a workshop back in 2002 with Bobby Braden, and we both had these eight and a half by 11 white, I don't know, piece of paper, and on it was our vision. And both of us wrote on there, both of us wrote on there, which is still on the back of my original crust busting card. You remember it's crust busting, Sue, right? Yes, absolutely. Yep. And I wrote, my goal is to help at least 1 million people this year bust through the crust and live life full out. And Bobby Braden also as well. Now, you guys heard me say Bobby Braden passed on, one of very dear friend of mine. And we held that. And what happened wasn't exactly what I thought or anybody thought. What happened was I dial a wrong phone number in 2003 and I get some bizarre radio station that did internet only. And without blinking, I buy $10,000 worth of airtime for 13 weeks. I meet Sue Storm, the angel lady in a very, how did we meet moment? on KKNW. I've been on KKNW now 17 years. Um, here we are today. So what I want to say, and Sue, I'd love for you to chime in. What I want to say is that when you step into the energy in the realm of abundance, you will not be abandoned. But if you can hold, or let's say not hold on, to a dead end outcome, like the one you're sure is going to happen, like some absolutely, if I don't get this, that looks like this, if you can let go of that, I think the angels are going to deliver something better. Sue, what do you think? I absolutely think so. They have such a wonderful plan and they know even more than you know. They, they they have um, access to more than you do. So I'd say trust them, welcome them into your life and um, and give them give them you know the the power to help you. let, let them drive the car and it'll be it'll be great. So tell us about what you do to help people. And I'm not just I'm people from all walks. So one of the things people don't know about you is you're a business consultant. So they don't know right. that much about that. We don't talk about that much. But you work with executives, you work with business people, because everybody's got a unique proposition of where they want to go. What have you seen shift in what people are wanting most of today? What are they looking for? Is that what, yeah, they're what they're calling you and saying? I remember once upon a time, Sue, do you remember once upon a time we went through about two years and I know exactly what years they were, where people, I got to have abundance. I got to have money. Then we went through a period of time. Oh my gosh, I got to find the love of my life. Right. 
I think and, we have and, shifted. And now, and now, if you're asking, it's yeah. peace, peace, contentment, and fulfillment. Yep. Peace, contentment, and fulfillment. There was a time when it was help me find my soulmate, and it was I would say relationships was number one. Now it's that peace and contentment. It's the inner working in the inner world instead of what's going on outside of you. It's a fascinating discussion. Benny, I don't know if you remember this the other day we were doing a show and I think we were just chit chat and I think you you sort of mentioned where you are in, a little bit in the relationship end of things. And then I mentioned where I was and I made a statement that, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not in a place where I was many years ago. I don't even think about a relationship. And somebody emailed me about that, Sue. And I realized I didn't explain myself. And one of the things that I know about you, Sue, is when we look at bringing energy relationships in, it doesn't always look like we think. And what I want to say is I have the most incredible small group of friends and people close to me. And I could have never imagined it. I mean, Benny and I, 17 years, and boy, we've had our ups and downs, but man, here we are. Uh, you, Sue, equally. And so right now, these relationships seem to be so important. I, I think a good friends and someone you can count on and you, someone who cares about you is one of the most wonderful things in the world. Hmm. True. Hmm. Sue. Another great show, Benny, Jacob. And for those of you, you may not know who Jacob is. Um, Jacob is one of our producers here at Transformation Talk Radio. And I just want to say to you folks listening and watching on YouTube, you may have seen a few little unusual things happening. We're trying a brand new technology interface. Um, and it's part of minds coming together, hearts coming together to provide all of you what you want more of. So, What's your personal message? Again, tell folks how they can contact you uh, and tell them about the special again. Sure. So in order to contact me for a consultation or to get a copy of some of the books that are on the website, it's theangellady.net. Um, and my 800 number is 800-323-1790. And somebody out there is thinking, I wonder how soon I can get in. I will get you in if you need. Yeah. If you need angel first aid, yeah, we do triage, so yeah. you will get it. And, and by the way, Sue does that for for our listeners. Just yes. just so you all know, she really goes out of her way for all y'all out there because you are the best audience on the planet. It's true. So, and um, and then the books are Angel First Aid RX for Miracle Second Edition and Angel First Aid RX for Success. We, we got a list of books. We got a list of things. and But most of all, we care about you. That's what the angels are saying. We really do. Uh, and I want to thank you, Benny, for all the bu buttons you're pushing. I love the whole live streaming. And of course, we're looking at that too. Uh, so you guys have probably heard something we talk about during the breaks that you're thinking, do they know they're on air or not? I want to thank Jacob and Olivia for doing this fine test. Jessica, of course, is at the helm. And I want to thank all of you because you are the people that inspires me to get up every day and say, yep, we're going to build this for you. Yep, we're taking a little bit longer. We're going to build this for you. Sue, you rock. Thank you. Everybody out there, I want to leave you with this one thing. There is an energy and a force right now that we talked about in the month of March. That energy and force is exponential inside of you. So find the gumption to take action for whatever that is. And if you can't find it, call someone, call Sue, call me, call into the show. And don't forget to call in tonight. Uh, we're going to take this on at four o'clock on transformationtalkradio.com, the psychic and the doc. We'll see you next time.